This TTS demo is for testing and evaluation purposes only. Any unauthorized commercial use is prohibited. Destiny 2 was down but there's no point checking server status pages as Bungie Maintenance has taken the game offline for a hot fix. Here's what all the error codes mean and when it's due to end. Update 1. The game has now gone offline for players attempting to log on, and is scheduled to be down until 7 p.m. UK time. Players that were already signed into an activity in the game will find that they may still be able to play, but this effect will only last until 4 p.m. latest. The game is down for scheduled maintenance ahead of Destiny 2's first raid going live tomorrow. Bungie will be taking Destiny 2 offline for 4 hours this afternoon. This downtime will be used to perform the first live server maintenance on the game. The scheduled maintenance is due to go live at 3 p.m meaning players won't be able to log in from then until 7 p.m., but anyone already logged in at the time will be given up to an hour to complete their session. So if you want as much time in Destiny 2 as you can this afternoon, you should plan to already be in an activity by 3 p.m. UK time. Bungie hasn't announced what the maintenance is particularly targeting, but the hope is that players will suffer fewer disconnection errors and matchmaking woes once the maintenance is complete. It's also worth noting that Destiny 1's servers will be down at the same time. The most likely error players are going to encounter after the update is error code SHEEP. SHEEP will refer to players using an older version of the game not being able to properly sync up with players on a newer version. PlayStation 4 and Xbox One users should note their consoles will automatically update Destiny 2. Here's what Bungie notes on its website. Error code SHEEP. Players may encounter the sheep error code when they attempt to join a fire team in which any member has not updated to the latest version of Destiny. To resolve this issue, please have all players close Destiny and install the latest update. Bungie has listed a couple of vital bits of information on its website referring to the downtime, Destiny Companion, sign-in functionality and other Destiny Companion services on the mobile app, Bungie.net and third-party sites may be restricted or unavailable during Destiny server maintenance periods. Bungie helped Twitter. On days in which Destiny is receiving an update or server maintenance, players can follow at Bungie Help on Twitter for updates on the process and timeline for the server maintenance or update deployment. Interrupting downloads. Some consoles will attempt to verify all previously downloaded content before downloading a Destiny updates. If any issues are found, or the verification process is interrupted, all previous content will be deleted and downloaded once more. For more information, please see our updating Destiny guide. Connectivity issues. Players encountering connectivity issues after maintenance has concluded, or that are unable to log into Destiny when there is no planned maintenance impacting Destiny services may need to attempt basic connectivity troubleshooting such as clearing their console cache, power cycling their network hardware, or reading through the network troubleshooting guide. Maintenance notification, players signed in shortly before maintenance will receive notice via in-game messaging that a maintenance will be starting soon. The first Destiny game was an epic sci-fi space shooter with lengthy online battles which helped to really show off the next-gen machine's web capability for the first time. And now we have this sequel, somewhat delayed but full of blockbuster moments and cracking gameplay. The problem with Destiny 2 was that it's more of the same. Don't expect a revolutionary update to the 2014 original. It's more shooting, jumping ducking and diving as hordes of bullet sponge baddies head you down. Most fans of the series will be happy with that, because what Destiny has done is taken most of the complaints about the first game and tried to iron them out of the sequel. Update 2. Bungie has confirmed that a fix will be applied to Destiny 2 game files after maintenance is complete. Once the servers go live, which is due to be roughly 7 p.m. UK time, you will be required to download Hotfix 1.0.1.2 on PS4 and Xbox One consoles. Without this download, you'll be unable to re-enter the game and join with other players. It is currently unknown what this fix is for.